salmon. Now there's many different types of salmon you can choose. Today we're lucky enough to have the best of all salmons in my mind. This is a coho. I got this just off the docks in Comox the other day and it was flash frozen right after. So this is a Queen Charlotte King Coho salmon, the top of the salmons. If you haven't got a chance to get this, the next best one down is a sake in my mind. Everyone has their own taste. And that's what we made the salad for at the beginning. So I know it's kind of silly to have salmon as a salad and have it as a main course, but hey, why not? We want to have a lot of those omega-3 oils. So you can do this many different ways. And the way that I typically do it is I do it over barbecue in tin foil. But <clears throat> I found these titanium pots that are almost the right size to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just press it a little bit, take these off, but it doesn't really matter. One of the biggest things is you can see this is not going to fit in. So what am I going to do? So I just have to cut it through. So I'm just going to make a little mark there. And then I'm going to move this out of the way and bring it back and cut it right there. Now the way we're going to do this salmon is, yeah, we're going to do it over the barbecue, but we're going to kind of half poach it and half barbecue it, which is my favorite way to do the salmon. And it's the easiest too. It always comes out perfect that way. We don't need this little part of the back, I don't think. <laughs> Now you can cut off all the rest of these pieces, but they'll all come out with the wash anyway when I, when I bone it, so there's no real reason to have to do that. So we can just tuck this here like this. Now that's what I'm going to end up with, but I'm going to take this back and put it over here and just put this in there. And so what I'm going to do, there's many things you can do with this, is I'm going to need that one more time, sorry. Now when you're doing a big fish and you do it on the barbecue, Sometimes it starts to curl. This is going to be done over water, so it's not going to curl that much. But if you're doing right on the grill, it's going to curl, especially if you were um, did it in a tin foil or did it straight. So one of the first things you do, you see this all throughout Asia and through the Caribbean, is you just score it a couple times. Scoring it, it's not going to curl. You don't have to do much, just a little wee thing like that, and so it'll bend properly. And that's and that, it. Maybe. That one dried up. That's not going to, oh my, this is not going to dry up at all. This is going to be so succulently delicious. You <laughs> now, again, you can put all kinds of things in here. And it really depends on what's in the garden. But by far the preferred one it happens to be in season right now. And it's dill. So I'm just going to take a whole bunch of dill and throw it in here. I sometimes take a little bit of cilantro and put it in it, arugula. I really like actually putting tarragon in this early in the season. So I'm just going to put a bunch of, of this stuff inside and steam it. And then I'm going to put a bunch of lemon in here. And just lay the lemon all the way through. And so this lemon is going to keep moist inside. Take a bunch of pepper. Yep, yep. Oh, we've already got some here. Yeah. Now you could put some of this in the inside too, but it's all going to go up in the wash. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the lemon lime juice that we made with some dough recipe and pour it over. Now, when I'm actually going to do it on the barbecue, I'm going to take about oh, a quarter of a cup of water and put it in the bottom. Then I'm going to put the lid on top of it and steam it in the barbecue. But leave the lid a little jar, and so when the water evaporates, then it'll brown a little bit on the bottom. So that's why we don't want this way. This way. That's why we put the slashes in. How long do you cook it? Well, there's a rule of thumb that's really important, and it's that long, which is two, okay, two and a half inches. Uh, maybe three. So you do it eight to 12 minutes per inch. Always comes up perfect. I like mine a little on the raw side. It's kind of almost sushi-ish. Some people think that's disgusting. So if you come from certain ethnic groups, you want it super cooked. So that would be 12 minutes. The average is 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do, as soon as I got the water to the boil, I know it's gonna be done 
and, and let's say this is three inches thick, you take the thickest part, I know it's going to be done in 24 minutes if I want the eight minute. And it's going to be right along the bone, it's going to be almost sushi and we're also going to be cooked. You're also going to see little wee white bubbles bubbling up in here, another clue. If I cut this in half and then there's a fillet, then as soon as you see little white bubbles come to the surface, you know it's done. But always, the, on the west coast, all the First Nation people, it's 10 minutes per inch, done. I like it a little while. So we just put the lid on, and when we put it on the barbecue later, we're going to just we'll take a picture of it. Um, we'll put a little bit of water in it and do it. Now, if you don't have one of these nice fancy pots, because this is titanium and a little bit on the expensive side, and for many years, all I do is put the shiny side of the tin foil um, towards it, do that, make kind of a little boat out of it, and put a little bit of water on it. And then as soon as it gets pretty well done in the barbecue, it's three quarters done, and I literally just take a fork and a knife, poke it through, the water all goes through, and then it browns a little bit on the inside. Down. And then we keep going, good to go. So that didn't take it. So you can put together quite a nice detox meal, including dessert, smoothie, two types of salad, and an appetizer with guacamole in less than 30 minutes. So it doesn't take a long time to do a detox. Now, of course, we're going to be doing many more videos like this, and you'll be able to, to see them on our blog page or our detox page. Or maybe you can go to our cleansing course. We have a, a cleansing course, um, which every once in a while we do free, so you'll be able to look at some videos there to be able to find out more recipes. Of course, we have a Facebook page on the 12 day Wild Rose 12 Day Detox, and all those have different recipes. We have cookbooks and coupons, so you can be able to enjoy it at your own leisure. Thank you very much. As I pointed out, what we're going to do is barbecue this. It's going to be partly poached and partly barbecued. So you can see I'm just putting a little bit of water in here. And I've got the barbecue on relatively high in the middle. And I've got it on low in the other side. I'm wanting it to boil. And so I'm going to put a lid on it. Um, and then just let a little barbecue in there and I'll take it off later. And it's going to be that simple. Now again, one of the things that's really important at this point in time is to set the time. We decided it's three inches in size. We decided it's three inches in size, so that means we're going to put it for eight times three minutes or 24 minutes. Well, let's just put a little bit extra. Let's put 26 minutes. So I've got a timer on, and I'll be able to know when it's done. Of course, I'm going to check it. Now we're going to debone this sucker. So what you do is you just go, it's a little bit hard in this plate because this is a pretty big salmon for it, but you just get right next to the vertebrae and just work your way all the way down. Right against right against the vertebrae and just, you can feel the, feel the ribs there. And then you're just going to take Maybe one or two spatulas. Now, normally I'd do this on a flatter surface, and it'd be a little bit easier. But this is the environment I've got. So this is the environment I'm using. We just take that and flip it over. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit sushi-ish there, like I said it was going to be. Some people would find that's too rare. I find it's just perfect because it makes the rest of it really, really soft. And if you do this right, now some of it didn't come off down here, we'll just move that over there. I'm going to be able to pull this vertebrae all out virtually in one piece. Now again, it's a little on the rare side and we did it 8 minutes per inch. Some people would do it 10, that's the standard, and a lot of people would do it, oh, maybe 12, if they are from, let's say, the UK that like to cook their, their, their salmon really strongly. Once upon a time, I did a, a workshop where I had 100 people there, and I had people from the UK that wanted it really well cooked, and I had a bunch of raw foodists that wanted it really undercooked, and I did 100 salmon over a period of a week there, billet. So now we've got ourselves a bunch of salmon. And if you don't have much, you can really take this and scrape it. And you've got yourself a fair amount. 
So again, this is an eight minute salmon per inch. Some people like to do it a little bit more. Now what I like to do at this stage is I will cut it up into little sections for people. Now you can see there's a little bit of bones in there. They, people can pick those out, but the big bones will come out. This is a pretty darn big salmon, but you can see that an awful lot of it came out. These ones here I can pull out pretty easy just to be able to pull them out and put them at the side. And just cut it up into little wee pieces, ask people to watch for bones, and they can just grab it. Now, as you might remember, there's a little bit of a tail under here that we'll eat later. And there's our salmon. And we'll just put these in. People can grab a little bit of dill, a little bit of lemon, and put it with their salmon. Oh, no!